go, 16,922. We've got the monster. So, my opinion, I would do it. And I think it's just the smarter of the two decisions, because I also do believe Florida is going to have a tank of a year, so. Leafs got that covered, I hope so. For the Blue Jackets, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Young Guns. That's a nice start for Columbus. I, I like your positivity towards the Leafs. Although I don't think they are going to win it, but... Because literally they would have to beat Tampa, as of right now, first, and then play Florida second round. That is just an absolute one-two knockout punch. P.K. Subban for, uh, for Nashville. It's the reason I don't like that playoff formula is literally round three technically would probably be our easiest round. I don't like that. Callie Rosen. Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Canvas for the Avalanche of Rontanen. Portrait of Hampus Lindholm for Anaheim. And La Base. So one of the main reasons I don't like the playoff formula right now. Just doesn't make much sense. And obviously, if you're doing the checkout again, the exact same thing. You just do the group break number and the card, and we'll get it out for you. Dazzler's Green, Johnny Goudreau for Calgary. All right, here's a fun question. Why does Goudreau literally get no hobby love? We literally have a, a consignment card for customer up. It's a 99 cup RPA, four colors. Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs Young Guns. And I think the best offer we've had is like 800 bucks. How is it possible that a guy that talented on a very good team and a 99 cup rookie is not garnering more love. Konechny portraits for Philly. And base. And anyone got honestly any reason of why? Hey, no worries. I said I'm always here to uh, to give you my honest opinions and stuff like that. Platinum. Basically, the way I look at it, Con, is a victory rookie of Caprisa for the Minnesota Wild. Any big name rookie, low numbered, platinum, future watches, young guns, cup, I always recommend get graded no matter what. Because if that person ever has a breakout few weeks, you're going to do very well with a graded card. Corner, young guns for the Sharks. Unger Retro or Tribute Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. And a Foot Dazzlers for Tampa. We've got a Vanacek Holographics for Washington. And a Cam Johnson at Young Guns for the Blue Jackets. Well, it looks like the Leafs will be playing, what, the uh, two-time defending Stanley Cup champion in the first round? Be a hell of a matchup. Dazzler's Green of 
have Darlene for Buffalo. We've got a Young Guns for Tampa of Ross Colton. Canvas of Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. Is there any updates on Matthews, by the way? Is he uh, A-OK -okay or what's going on with him? Addison for the Minnesota Wild, Young Guns. We've got base. I, I agree there's never really an easy path, but I don't like that there's always easier paths. As I said, we've had this conversation quite a few times, Des. I don't know whether you agree or not. It is what it is. And this is not me being a Leaf fan or a homer. Is I'm not a fan of like a number one team or a number two or three team in the NHL playing a number four team in the first round. I'm a big believer of if you want to make the season valuable, then it should matter where you finish. And at this point right now, in my opinion, it's like Tampa Bay is a great example. I don't know the exact numbers, so someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But like they might finish 6th or 7th in the NHL, and they get, what, the number 3 team in the NHL as their consolation prize for being one of the best teams in the NHL? It makes no sense to me. Canvas of Dubinsky for the Blue Jackets. Young Guns for Nashville of Fabro. Portraits for Boston of Marshawn. I just don't like that. I just think it makes the season kind of useless at that point. And I remember I was listening to some, uh, honestly, Des, my young guns of Haas for the Oilers. I would have no problems 1 versus 16. I understand travel is uh, annoying. Robert Thomas for the Blues. So aside from travel, which obviously is a big thing, I, I like the 1 versus 16. I, I think that's a fair way to reward the best team. You give them the most likely team they'll beat. Frederick Glossy for Boston. McCarr Bronze for the Avalanche. Grunstrom for the Kings. And the other thing is I honestly think that would be better for the NHL because it makes more of a fun storyline if number 16 beats number one, right? Like right now, there is no number 16 or realistically no number eight. It's like wild cards and, and divisions. But what a storyline if number one lost to number 16. And then number 16, you know, wins in round number two. Like, to me, it's it's such a cool storyline. But I also think it helps reward the people or the teams that finish best. And I, I'm a big believer of that. Marky Rookie Retro of Mikola for the Blues. Pin Ho, Young Guns for the Caps. And I also think it builds up. It builds up, for example, the fun of the playoffs of better teams. Kemper for the Coyotes. Like, you would have teams like number two versus number five in the third round. Like, it would be exciting. Marky, rookie of Zagadulin for Calgary. Yo, Levy, Dazzlers for Vancouver. So the Leafs play Dallas. I think that would still be exciting. Portrait of Hawk and Paw. And I know some people might say, like, <clears throat> it doesn't create rivalries. I disagree. If Toronto played Oilers right now, I don't think anyone would be upset. Tavares for the Maple Leafs. We've got a Hagel Young Guns for the Hawks. Or Toronto played Vegas. Like, I feel like there'd be some good uh, good games. Portraits, rookies of Karushev. For the Hawks. And a Robertson, Maple Leafs, marquee rookie. 
Yeah, I'm saying KZ, I would have no problems with it going further and just going straight up 116. But I, I would rather the 1 versus 8. I just think it just makes the season not very fun, in my opinion. Lafreniere for the Rangers, Glossy. Ingram for the Preds. Ingram Gold for the Preds. Like, do, does someone mind looking up in the NHL what place Tampa Bay is right now and what place Toronto is? Because that, to me, in my opinion, would be your best example. And then if someone does not mind looking up, um, what are the other teams? Rangers. Who would they be playing? Pittsburgh? The Pittsburgh Rangers, I guess. Or, if you don't mind, look up the two West uh, divisions. So Tampa 9, Maple Leafs 3rd. If you go on the West, what are the two, uh, uh, two and three divisions? What numbers do they rank in the NHL? JVR for Philly, Canvas. Wow, Tampa's 9th. They have 100 points. That's amazing. Electro of Heeshear for the Devils. So you got 5 versus 11 and 3 versus 9. Like, even that right there does not make much sense to me. Dazzlers of Huberto for Florida. We got a Young Guns for the Minnesota Wild of Addison. Yeah, what is the 2-3 on the west sides? West side. Jack Hughes for the Devils on a roll. Hundo P for the Rangers of Fox. And thanks for the info desk on this, by the way. Canvas of Besser for Vancouver. So St. Louis, Minnesota. So what rankings are those guys? And then what's the other one? Killorn for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So six versus eight. Retrospective of Sharon Govich. Young Guns for Tampa of Ross Colton. And 13 and 16. How is it? Wow. How is it possible? Uh, there you go. We got a French variant. It'll be random between the Rangers and the Devils. I was wondering what the pack was. So, Oilers play against 16th. That's what I'm saying. Like, it makes no sense to me. Young Guns of Dunn. So, are the wild cards on the west below 16? They obviously must be, right? We've got a Sergachev for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sergachev. Tampa clear cut. Peyton Kreps for the Vegas Golden Knights debut. Honor roll of Fox for the Rangers. So how can LA be 2-3 then? How does that make sense? Or, oh, maybe the one division. That's what it is, right? Portrait of Krug for the Blues. Sorry. <laughs> Even that shows you how stupid that is. Young Guns of Spencer Knight for the Panthers. Because the Pacific sucks. Yep, that's funny. Debut of Miller. So there's a good example right there. So I'm not, not not even being a leaf homer right there. The Rangers, who are fifth in the NHL, get to play 11. Bergeron for Boston. Toronto, who finished better than the Rangers, but play a better team in the ninth. But the Oilers, who finished 13th, get to play 16th. Lukanen for the Buffalo Sabres Young Guns. Like, to me, that makes literally no sense. Retrospective gold for the Hawks of Pui Suter. So the Oilers play 16 for finishing 13, but the Leafs play 9 for finishing 3rd. Aho for Carolina. Electro. Portrait of Sveshnikov for the Canes. And then the Panthers probably play a pretty good team, right? Young Guns for the Flyers of Allison. I bet you they probably play 10 or 11. So, or, sorry, obviously not 11, but what, 10 maybe? So they get to play a better team. So the best team in the NHL for crushing everyone else 
gets a harder team than the team that finished 13th in the NHL. It logistically, to me, or I don't know if that's the right word, but it makes no sense, and I do not like it. And whoever wins at Edmond plays 7th Calgary or 14th Dallas? Exactly. And whoever wins out of Toronto plays what? Florida or whoever they play, so great. Portrait of Shabbat for Ottawa. The Leafs division has four punch. What are the four teams that you consider punching bags, Jamie? Out of curiosity. Zamula for the Philadelphia Flyers. Braden Point for Tampa. Canvas. The Avs are first. Okay, so they basically... So that makes sense to me. I, I like that one. We've got a game jersey of Larkin. Larkin for the Red Wings. I'll give you Montreal as a punching bag. I'm trying to think who, has, who are the other three would be that you would say. I'm going to guess Ottawa, Detroit, Buffalo. Della Andra for the Dallas Stars, Young Guns. Portraits, rookies for the Red Wing, or sorry, for the Maple Leafs of Lilligren. And if you're going to say those ones, I would honestly give you Detroit and Montreal as of this year. Lilligren, Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Buffalo and Ottawa, though, I do not think they're complete punching bags. Portraits for the Oilers of Dre Seidel. Checklist Vancouver Canvas. Uh, are well, are three of them in any other division? Out of curiosity. Or are four of them in any other division? Or are they spread out pretty evenly? We've got a Dazzlers for the Buffalo Sabres of Eichel. And that's the other thing I was going to say, Des, is that are they punching bags because of the team that they're playing, though? That, to me, is also very important. Canvas of Ryan Suter for Minnesota. Like, you can't blame, for example, those teams for being so bad because maybe they're only playing only the good teams. Vanna check for Washington. Like realistically, Montreal is playing most of the year against Toronto. Joseph for the Penguins, Young Guns, Tampa, Florida, and Boston. Not exactly easy teams to win on. Portraits of Mark Andre Fleury for Vegas. The rest of them are spread out. What what's the next worst division? Out of curiosity. What's the next uh, weakest division? Giroux for Philly. Which is the division out of the Coyotes in it? <laughs> Are you heading out, Ramiz? Yeah. Okay. Young Guns of True for the Sharks. You want me to lock behind you? Oh, you're waiting for a bit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll do this one. Every team in the playoffs in the East would be tied or above second in the Pacific. Wow. All right, let me just be careful this one here. And obviously, we know the uh, 25 that are going to be in here, so not a shock to anyone. McDavid! I highly recommend getting that one graded for the Oilers. Condon for the Habs, Bennett for the Flames, Pareko Blues, Panarin Hawks, Don Scoy Sharks, Domi Coyotes, Ehlers Jets, Miller Boston, Hannafin Carolina, Fabry for the Blues, Larkin Red Wings, Patan for the Jets, Rontanen Avalanche, 
Sprong for the Penguins. Shore for Dallas. Bertanen for Vancouver. Janmark for Dallas. O'Connor for Ottawa. Athanasiu for the Red Wings. McCann for Vancouver. Svedberg for the Hawks. Randall for Boston. Wheel for LA. Eichel, Buffalo. A McDavid rookie pool, guaranteed. That's why I put those in there. You get them graded, that's basically a $100 card. So, congrats to, to Edmonton. Here's your $100. Just trying to get you a playoff, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, definitely, Jamie, yeah. No, Golden, it has nothing to do, honestly, with the Leafs. You know my opinion on it. I've hated that, the way the divisions are built in general. I just don't like it. And then, obviously, Des was showing above. How the Oilers, who are 13th, get the 16th best team. But then you have the like the Rangers get like the 11th. It just makes no sense. We've got our rookie of Benson for the Oilers. Rookie, or uh, yeah, red of Benson for the Islanders. Iced out of Lafreniere for the Rangers. Blue short print of Zagadulin for Calgary. Also, in all honesty, as much as I want the Leafs to win, because I'm a massive Leafs fan, if they lose to a two-time Stanley Cup champions, I'm not exactly embarrassed. Quinn Hughes, Black Rainbow for Vancouver. Grand Entrance of Bellows for the Islanders. Short Print of Geeky for the Canes. And a Rookie of Ottinger for Dallas. I know everyone will make fun of Toronto for getting knocked out, but I wouldn't be too upset. Frank Coos for the Avalanche. Pajot! And by... Oh, no. Never mind. I can pull that part off. Blah. Pajot, Orange Slice for the Islanders. We've got a rain or double rainbow for the Sens of Norris. Short print of Sen. If they get swept, yes, then that is embarrassing. I'll give you that. But I don't think losing in six or seven games, hypothetically, to Tampa is, oh my God, that's embarrassing. Zamula for Philly. Black rainbow of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Shea, or sorry, Kuznetsov for the Capital City Selly. Short print of Benson for the Oilers. Rookie of Della Andrea for the Dallas Stars. Now, I'll be completely candid. Losing last year to Montreal, even though they went to the Cup, I thought that is more embarrassing. We should not have lost to Montreal. Pajot, Red Rainbow for the Islanders. Grand Entrance of Thurkoff for the Blue Jackets. Short print of Yolevi for Vancouver. Rookie of Peyton Kreps for Vegas. Rookie of Foodie for the Jackets. Black Rainbow Rookie Alexia for the Caps. Peyton Kreps Red Rainbow Rookie Jersey for Vegas. A big if, yeah. We've got a short print of McLeod for the Oilers. And a base. We've got a Rookie of Harley for Dallas. Red of Baudin for the Hawks. Iced out of Mantha for the Red Wings. Short print of Norris for the Ottawa Senators. And a rookie of Mikey Anderson for LA. We got a rookie of Karusha for the Hawks. Black rainbow of Eichel for Buffalo. This is a nice one. For the Maple Leafs. Red rainbow rookie auto. Nick Robertson. I, I will say I do have some decent confidence. I do think we could beat Tampa. I do think we match up decently well against them. But I don't like Vasilevsky. That's the biggest if, in my opinion. Short print for the Rangers of Lafreniere. And a rookie of Alexiev for the Caps. All right, let's do this bad boy. But I do think... Toronto actually has a good shot against Tampa this year. Florida is the one that kind of scares me. I, I just think they're a freaking animal right now. And sadly, we would be playing either Florida or... Who would they be playing? Florida-Boston? Is that the first round? I think. Or Florida-Washington. Canvas of Rask for Boston. Jari Young Guns for the Penguins. 
Portraits rookies of Beauvillier for the Islanders. You can never do doors, can you? Marky rookie rainbow of LeBanc for the Sharks. Sorry, guys, I'll be right back. We've got our rookie materials for the Habs of Sergachev. Sergachev. Yeah, Golden, you probably should have sold it the second he became a Maple Leaf. That would have been absolutely your best time, but hey, who knows? Maybe he comes back ish. Andre Kasha! Young Guns for the Ducks. Canvas of Larson for the Oilers. So going by what Golden said about, you know, coming up with excuses, I will be completely honest. The only time I'd ever be embarrassed is when we're supposed to win against a team. Simmons for Philly. Like, for example, Florida, the number two team in the NHL, should beat Boston. Lindbergh, young guns for the uh, Maple Leafs. The Avalanche should win the first round. That's when I think it's not that embarrassing. Portrait of Miles Wood for the Devils. Like, I don't think... And I might be wrong on the team, but I think I'm I think I'm correct on it. Marky rookie uh, of stature for Vancouver. Like I would not be embarrassed for the Rangers or Pittsburgh, whoever loses in the first round. I don't think that's a oh my gosh, you lost in the first round, your team sucks. Those teams are very, very good, both of them. Retro rookie of VC for the Rangers. Portrait of Aberg for Nashville. But I do understand, being a Leaf fan, you're going to get heckled. Sunquist for the Penguins. Unless we win the Stanley Cup, I feel like we're getting heckled no matter what. Young Guns, Timo Meyer, San Jose. Marky Rookie of Beauvillier for the Islanders. But in all fairness... I do think the Leafs deserve the heckling. They have some absolute epic memory collapses. It's beautiful. Kyle Ocposo for the Sabres. We give people some absolute great fuel. <laughs> Canvas of Kadri for the Maple Leafs. Retro rookie of Warinsky for the Blue Jackets. Portraits, rookies of Carlo for Boston. Carrier, young guns for Buffalo. <clears throat> Marky, rookie of Larson for Anaheim. At the end of the day, unfortunately for any big, big, big team, Marky, rookie of Konechny for Philly. No matter what happens, we're going to get heckled. If we beat Tampa 4 nothing, but then lose in seven games to, ta uh, to Florida, it'll be, oh my gosh, you guys didn't even make it past second round. You suck. So, uh, uh, it's not, nothing new. As I said, it brings more excitement to the game, to be honest. That means people are actually caring. And whether you like it or not, it's like, it's like when people watch McGregor fight. You either love the guy or you hate the guy. But you're still watching the guy. So at the end of the day, I'm happy. It's fun either way. If we win, we get to talk trash. So I never really get to talk trash. <laughs> Retro rookie of Geeky for the Canes. And if you lose, it's just devastating. Rainbow of Schmaltz for the Coyotes. But it's fun. We've got a blue, or sorry, an ice. What is called again? Sorry. Arctic Freeze 99, Manta for the Red Wings. And a Francoise for the Avalanche. Best in the world of Flurry for Vegas. Geeky for Carolina. Like, literally, Toronto's the third best team in the NHL this year. And people will still be like, they suck. It's like, alright. I don't really know what else Toronto needs to do. 
Retro rookie of Lindstrom for the Red Wings. K. Andre Miller for the Rangers. If I remember correctly, last game, they broke their record for most points and most wins in a single season. I feel like they're not a bad team. Coughlin for Vegas. Retro rookie. Rainbow of Hall for Buffalo. Lilligren for the uh, Maple Leafs. My prediction, though, I think Florida or Colorado, not exactly a shocker. One of those teams they are winning. Terravine and Retro Rainbow for Carolina. Ty Smith for New Jersey. My voice is fading. <clears throat> Red Prism Tuka Rask for Boston. And I actually would not be shocked with Tampa three peats. Rainbow of Quick for LA. Craps off for the Rangers. And I probably will be cheering for Tampa if they pass Toronto. Just to see a three peat beat. I don't think I've ever seen that in my life, obviously. Olafson Pink for Buffalo. When was the last time a team three peated? Marky Rookie for Dallas of Robertson. And a Hagel Red Rainbow Rookie Retro Auto. And all that was sub 900 goaltending. Is that what it is now, Des? Sub 900? That is god awful. Photo driven of McDavid for the Oilers. Norris for Ottawa. Pavelski Sunset for Dallas. Byram for the Avalanche. The thing is, in all honesty, Wire, it's a great question. I feel bad for either of them because I don't think there's anything that realistically could be done differently. We've got an Aho Sunset for Carolina. Cousins for Buffalo. Marky Rookie. The team's obviously built very, very well. It just doesn't end up performing. I don't know. Retro Rookie of Robertson for the Leafs. And a Forsberg Orange Checkers for the Preds. My gut would tell me probably Dubis would be the first one. But I I actually like Dubis. I think he's done some phenomenal moves. I don't think he's built a bad team. I just think the team's not working at that point. I don't know. Best in the world of Panarin for the Rangers. McLeod for the Oilers. Rainbow of Burns for the Sharks. Like, out of the, what, five years or in a row of making playoffs, the only two I consider that we should have somewhat won on, Terravine and Carolina Retro, Bodan for the Hawks, are the Habs for sure, and the Blue Jackets. But if I remember correctly, the Blue Jackets that year were the same amount of points as Toronto. Ekblad, Florida, and Zamula for Philly. I still think we should have beat them. But those are the only two years that actually, in my head, sting. Because we were, in my opinion, the better team, and we still lost. Whereas the other years, I do not think we were the better team. So it didn't really bug me as much. It sucks when you lose, but... We've got a net deposit of Byram for the Avalanche. Stutzel, rookie for Ottawa. Rookie of Sorokin for the Islanders. All-star of Stahl for the Wild. And a Baudet, rookie auto for the Hawks. That's, that is an absolute awful stat, isn't it? And actually insanely shocking that they are still above somehow thir or third place in the NHL. Quinny for Vegas, premium. All-stars of Giordano for Calgary. And an Ian Mitchell for the Hawks rookie. That's hilarious. What a terrible stat. Alloy of Stone and Pacioretty for Vegas. All-stars of Huberto for Florida. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues, medal. Connor McMichael for the Caps. And we've got an all-star for the Caps of Carlson. Lednov for the San Jose Sharks premium prospects. Bennington for the Blues all-star. Yeah, I really don't know where they go after this year if they lose in the first. 
Matthews net deposits for the Leafs, and a rookie of Sharon Govich for the Devils, Riddich All-Star for the Calgary Flames. And as I said, the only reason I would say Dubis, Metal Universe of Pedersen for Vancouver, Harley for Dallas, is he didn't really con uh, correct the goalie issue when he could have. And that is the only reason why I would say get rid of him. Bishop for Dallas, all-star of Heesher for the Devils, and a rookie of Hoaglander, if we had to get rid of somebody. So that's the only reason I would consider it. Elon Kyle Connor for the Jets, all-star of Duclair for the Sens, and Miller for the Rangers rookie. Because let's be real, the biggest headline most likely, net deposits, Lafreniere for the Rangers, all-star of Oshie for the Caps, will be the Maple Leaf goaltending in the playoffs. That would be my guess. Lilla Grain prospects for the Leafs. Rookie of Pui Suter for the Hawks. All-star of Pacioretty for Vegas. Intimidation Nation for the Flyers, Carter Hart. And our rookie of foot for Tampa. And if Nylander gets traded, I feel like it's going to be for a goalie. Romanov for Montreal Metal. All-star of Kreider for the Rangers. Cousins, a rookie for Buffalo. We've got a Gibson Alon for the Ducks. McDavid, all-star for the Oilers. Did we get a numbered card in that one? They're at 899. Yay. Go Leafs. Where, where do they rank on the NHL, NHL schedule for tandems? they got to be in the bottom five, I had to guess, right? No P well it's a PMG or numbered, right? Or or insert. I feel like we did I don't remember getting one in there. So LA Kings, Velardi 199. Well I remember like two, three weeks ago I got a box with two numbers, so maybe it just got me back. We ooh, nice. For the Jets! Number to 29 Patrick Line. Well, this year, NYR would be, in my opinion, one of their better chances. Home ice, most likely, should help them. You would hope. Holy moly, how does this come right after the line, eh? We've got a base auto, Igor Shesterkin. For the Rangers. Wow, back-to-back -back big box hits. What the heck? This is like a super pack. Piece of history. Jersey number to 99. Sidney Crosby. What the heck? Feel like the next card's gonna have to be a letdown. And it is. A base jersey for Philly of Carter Hart. And a banner year of Shifley for the Jets. That was an absolute awesome one, two, three. You very rarely see that in Spagoo. Normally you might get one nice card. Maybe sometimes two. Very rarely do I see three back-to-back -back really good cards. But I won't complain. That is awesome for the group break. We've got for the Oilers, Finite of Benson. Benson Finite. In my opinion, in way, are obviously I would love to win both home games. I think they have to win one home game to get their confidence at least. We've got a Quinn Hughes, Vancouver, and ideally the first one. I think they need their confidence up. I feel like if they lose the first one or even second one, it'll be very tough for them to crawl back. We've got a 375, Timothy Lilligren, Maple Leafs, rookie, Jersey, Auto. Timothy Lilligren. 
We've got an extravagant materials of Patty Kane for the Hawks. Rangers, though. I think Rangers have a good shot. I agree with that. And uh, goalies are generally a very, very, very important part to a lot of the uh, playoff success for teams. And as long as uh, Shesterkin does not get injured, I absolutely think they have a good shot. I think it's time to go down in the beginning. Yeah, Des, I don't know. I don't know if I like that strategy, but hey, anything that might work. Rookie renditions of Joseph for the Penguins. Renditions red of Joseph for the Penguins, $7.99. And an Eichel jersey for Buffalo. We've got a super stage of Angelo for the Penguins. And we've got a Letinov to two ninety nine rookie. Two ninety nine. We've got a rendition of Bodin for the Hawks, and that's nice. A rookie premieres of Caprisov. Four ninety nine Minnesota. Alright, so Golden, what is your call for next year for the Habs? Under Dallas Stars and a rookie jersey Caprisov. Four ninety nine. What is your honest call right now for them? Another terrible year or are they a playoff team? Super stage of Vanacek for the Caps. And a three ninety nine of Martin Cott for the Avalanche. Oh, I would love Shane Wright to be a have. I'm not going to lie about that. Evans for Montreal renditions and a 9.99 of Kiv Linux for the Jackets. I, I can almost assure you, Quartz, I know you come in the room pretty much nightly and ask that. We are probably, most definitely not going to do a case of Platinum. So, that I can pretty much guarantee. Am I scared to do it? No, I am not scared to open hockey cards. We've got a palladium for the Blues of Curtis Joseph. Curtis Joseph. Oh yeah, the Raptors are playing, that's right. For the Rangers, Brett Howden. Brett Howden. I'm genuinely curious how the Habs are going to be next year, though. They got a decent amount of young core, which is great. Obviously, Carey Price is Carey Price, so never know what happens with him. He literally, like, legitimately could just steal games easily. We've got a portrait of Patty Kane for the Hawks. All right, Matthews, let's go. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing case breaks of many products going forward, sadly. If you can somehow find me a lot more platinum at a good rate, I'll happily do case breaks. Shining Stars of Klingberg for the Dallas Stars. I fear nothing. I would love to do case breaks of all products. Sadly, they would not fill. That is just the truth. Young Guns Braden Point for Tampa.
face. La base. Portraits of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. And a pull you Yarvi for the Oilers. <laughs> Holy Oilers everywhere. Yeah, I, I think people really underestimate how hard it is to find things nowadays. And not only that, of how expensive things are nowadays. So thus, case doing cases would be near freaking impossible to fill. For the Blues, Robert Thomas. Well, that is honestly the true case. Yeah, I, I'm having trouble posting because of that stuff. Two ninety nine cent rookie auto. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not saying there's not big hits, but when you have Premier at what one hundred and ten for a five boxer, Ultimate at one hundred and seven, it, it's a tough one. For the Panthers, Ultimate Material Signatures, Jersey Auto, Bobrovsky. I think really people underestimate just how hard that is, like, on stores and breakers to actually fill case breaks. 99. And we've got for the Dallas Stars, 649 of Harley. Perfect example. Does anyone want to do the math for me, please? Do 300, most likely. Actually, do 400 times 8. So what is that? Uh, 32 times it by taxes. So 3,200 plus taxes. If someone doesn't mind doing that math for me. What's 3,200 plus taxes? We've got a 349 for the Flyers of Konechny. What, 3,500 something roughly? 3,600? So I'll do 3,616 divided by 31 deaths. That's most likely what SBA case will be. Alexander True for the San Jose Sharks. Sparkling scripts. Again, rough estimate, of course. Sparkling scripts. For the Canucks, team logo jumbos of Quinn Hughes. So you got to think, an eight boxer is going to be $116. And SBA is one of the only ones that would be semi-confident that it would feel okay. But that's still ridiculous. A master case will be th uh, 240 bucks. That's a lot of money. For the Capitals, Diamond Gallery. I don't know if that's a scratch or not. I think it's imprinted on the card, so I don't know if that's normal or not. Alex Ovechkin. Uh, KZ, I will be completely candid on that one. I don't even know if we're going to get a case of that. That's the other issue that we deal with. By the way, I don't think that is a scratch. I don't know if anyone doesn't mind looking this card up on eBay and seeing if that's on all of them. But clearly, I just, yeah, I don't know about the scratch on it. This looks very, very embedded in the card. For the Vancouver Canucks, rookie gems auto to 199 of Yo Levy. But I do agree, KZ, that one will fill quickly, regardless whether it's one box, two boxes, five boxes. And number 299, Gabe Villardi. But, KZ, that's looking like it's going to come out at around $1,200 a box. So think about that. Even if you divide that by 30 spots, you're at what, 30, 40 bucks a spot for one box? I know the potential is huge, but oh my god, that's a lot of money. That one will probably be a one or two boxer only, if I had to guess. $2.99, Carter Hart. But I don't think if it's an eight box break, we're filling. $300 a spot type thing. $299 Baudin for the Hawks. Maybe one case of it. But that's, again, if we get a case of it. 
for the Capitals, 249 Alexiev. Uh, SP what? Legends, authentic. Just so I know. I think Legends is actually going to be first, if I remember hearing correctly. 249 Alexiev. We've got a pursuit number to 35 of Comtois. I don't know, KZ. I don't know if it's going to have better overall value. I think it'll have higher potential. But I don't know if it'll be better per box basis. We've got a Paramount rookie jersey. Lafreniere. Authentic, if I have to guess. Probably around June, July, August. But who knows. And Columbus Atkinson jersey. But literally that is just a pure out guess. It is, there's no like... Right now I still think they're trying to work on getting the uh, the next few released. Like one thing at a time, right? But yeah, SBA is going to be a fun one. But an absolute freaking nightmare for stores, I think. <clears throat> and, and just to give anyone who's listening perspective on the hobby. For example, our price on Ultimate almost tripled overnight. So my cost to get new Ultimate is almost three times what it was when it first came out. That's what stores deal with. So when you start seeing stores have a price and all of a sudden it goes up a lot that's honestly the reason why and that's no one no one's fault like the hobby is booming right now but that's literally guys how crazy it is sometimes 249 huberto for the panthers i don't know i i think he might be over a thousand greg right away i would hope he would be that would be awesome la kings Matt Wah. 249. Matt Wah. Beautiful RPA. Not a bad limited logos. Number to 50. Sveshnikov. Limited logos. Patch auto. Uh, Casey, it's hard to say better because of positioning. But I think Kaprizov has more love because of his position. Goal scorers always get more hobby love than defensemen. Sveshnikov. And the guy's in his, what, second year and he's oh, maybe a 50 goal scorer? That's freaking impressive. For the Maple Leafs! That's a cool little patch. Trevor Moore. Yeah. Des, tell me about it. My God, as a store, I freaking loved it like three years ago. 249. And a one of one rookie printing plate auto, Boston Bruins, Connor Clifton. All right, let me do the randoms quickly, folks. And, uh, oh no, I'm not doubting, guys. He is older. I'm still saying it's still very impressive, and at the end of the day, it is rookie year stuff, technically. So, regardless of his age, he's selling well. That's really what matters for the hobby, which is great. Here we go. Left and right. One, two, three. The left side, which is Jack Hughes. And we've got the prizing three times. One, two, three. The top 20, I believe, get something. Nope. There we go. All right. The ultimate boxes goes to James, Humick, and Ian. Congrats. The Series 1 Hobby Boxes. I don't know why it says 2121. It is 2122. Goes to Kalmar, Phil, and JS. The Blasters goes to Hazmat, Phil, Kalmar, Allen, Claudio, U2, and Ben. And the Series 2, Ashley, Kalmar are close. I'm too old, no D, Peaks, and Link. Congrats.